everyone. It's about uh, 40 minutes into the open, uh, October 3rd, 2012. And this is how I traded glue today. If I seem a little bit unfocused, it's because the market's still open, so I'm you know, still active here. But I thought I'd get this out of the way real quick. So uh, last night I said I, saw, I took 3,000 shares of glue overnight. <clears throat> And my goal was half out before 436, which I thought was going to be a bit of resistance. Here, 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 and these two candles. So I sold half 1,500 shares at 435. I wanted to get ahead of everyone. And the high of day right now is 438. The only... Uh, I mean, I traded the first tap rate. It got out at 4.35, which is what I wanted. I think that's a 12 cent gain, something like that. But then the second, my last tap, I traded poorly. I put a stop in at 4.25, and it it bounced. This is the five minute candle. Bounced off of the 10 moving average. So had I played the chart, I should have stopped out at maybe. 422 or maybe 4 423 that would break even even on two minute candles 423 is right below the three moving averages that I use so I should have been wise and played the uh, play the chart as it seemed as of now it looks like 435 is going to be maybe some resistance you know it's tapped it four on four candles on two minutes so I think my net was, let me take a look here. So my net was 213.3. So all in all, a uh, good trade for the first half and then terrible for the second half. Like I said, when when I see the stock price going down, I, I tend to panic. Instead of playing the chart, I just, you know, I hate losing money. So great first half, terrible second half. I also wanted to mention the first half, you know, it met my goal of 435. Once the market opens, I set in my sell orders, one at 435 and the rest at 449, which was a little bit, you know, too much wishful thinking. But it might get there. Who knows?